My apologies, we have to interrupt the video because we have breaking news. You sometimes hear about liberal bias in the media these days, how they're constantly letting off our government, letting our government off the hook for no good reason. Frankly, I think that's insulting. It's clear that they let us off the hook for a very good reason, because we paid them $600 million. You People don't know this, but Justin Trudeau goes on the news and his party makes announcements about investments that they're going to do. And they always talk like this is happening in real time. But all these investments, they will be announcing the same investment or the same announcement over and over again years later. And people don't realize that they've already announced that stuff and never did it. They only pretend to do stuff in this government or they're making investments, talk like these investments are already being done or they're doing changes. And all these changes are always happening years later, like in 2026, 27. Like, I don't understand why the liberal government keeps making announcements that will start when their government won't even be in power anymore. So this is exactly what the liberal government does. Justin Trudeau goes on the news, he makes announcements, pretends that these things are going to happen soon and they never actually happen or they're set to happen years later. In 2015, he said he was going to take federal land and make affordable housing on them. He said the same thing in 2017, 2023, 2024. Here in 2021, he announced major investments into transits. Then he does the same thing in 2022, 2023 and 2024. And these transit investments are set to begin in 2026, 2027. Why are you announcing these transit investments in 2021? In 2015, he said he was going to increase taxes on the richest 1% and reduce taxes on the middle class, which he's, he never did. And then in 2024, he actually announced nine years later from the first announcement in 2015, he announces the capital gains tax increase on the richest Canadians. He keeps calling out the Conservative Party for voting against dental care when he voted against it on multiple occasions. He votes against his own projects and then blames the, the Conservatives for these projects not happening. But the fact of the matter is, he votes against them himself. And all provinces already have a free dental care program. And here you have Justin Trudeau pretending that the Conservatives are against... Uh, you know, abortions, which they are not. Pierre Polyev is 100% for pro-choice and he will never block abortions. But Justin Trudeau here, he says he will never force women to do anything they don't want to do with their bodies, but he forced women to get vaccination even though they were pregnant and then pretended that he didn't force his employees in the, or nurses to get these vaccinations. What Justin Trudeau's government does, it takes over provincial programs, then gives them money and pretends that it was their program all along, but it never was. They're just taking over programs from the provincial governments. And here, this one makes me laugh. He talks about the most ambitious housing program in the history of Canada. Most of these homes are going to be built by 2031. None of them were built. And the ones that were built were strictly reserved for migrants arriving into Canada. Wow. Here he says the emergency roofs are overwhelmed by people waiting for long surgeries. They're overwhelmed by migrants. Imagine that. And he's also pretending that he's investing $200 billion into the hospitals, which is going to be done again by 2035. Like none of these investments have already been done already. Here they brag about this $10 daycare thing. They're all giving $10 daycare, but none of them actually have room. So again, here he's taking over provincial programs and bragging that he's the one doing it when they have a 2026 deadline. So you won't see any changes in daycare before 2026. Then he tells uh, Polyev that his uh, stance on tariffs, when Polyev told him to put tariffs on EVs coming from China, he called it baloney. And then two months later, puts tariffs on EVs made by China. He literally said on the news that it was a bad idea to put tariffs on Chinese EVs and then does it two months later. Oh, so it's not a bad idea anymore? And here he's answering a question from Mark Gerritsen, which was very serious in a liberal video. If dog wore pants, would, you, would they wear them like this or like this? Serious question by Mark Gerritsen here, answered by the Prime Minister. Here, look, we're investing $200 billion in the next 10 years. 
for healthcare. They say the budget is, they announced this in the budget of 2023. Then they make the same announcement in the budget of 2024. So again, they keep making the same announcements over and over again. And then they're bragging about making insulin free. Did you know that insulin manufacturers provide free insulin at no cost to all people who can't afford it? They just give it to them for free. I don't know what difference, uh, powerful paychecks. What the heck does that mean, Madam Speaker? I have no clue. Someone was asking Pierre, what the hell does powerful paychecks mean? Well, what the hell does high quality, inclusive and affordable childcare mean?